Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example we need to find sine and cosine. The tangent is given 3 over 4 and we know also the sine is a positive value. Right? So how are we going to do that? Hey, I said here use the Pythagorean identity. It can be done over the geometry of a right triangle. However, in this uh, example we're going to look how to do it using this Pythagorean identity. And the one I'm going to really start with is this one. 1 plus tangent square, tangent of theta square, equal secant square. And in this guy, we're going to plug tangent, right, 3 fourths, and we're going to solve for this secant square, right? 3 fourths square is 9 over 16. Right, and then we have 1 plus 9 over 16. 1 is 16 over 16, so that will be 25 over 16. And now if I want to find secant, obviously I need to do one more step, which is uh, take square root. But when you take square root, you need to put the plus and minus. And we get 5 over 4, plus or minus. The question is now, which one it is? Is plus or minus? And we have two choices here in this problem. One is to do this uh, sketch over it, of a, a rectangular grid. If you remember, the x means the cosine, the y the sine, right? So look into this, we know the sine is positive here, right? And is negative here. The cosine, when you change the color, is going to be positive here and negative here, right? So, uh, looking to the statement we have here, sine is positive, so that means it's going to be either here or here. But also the tangent is positive, and the tangent is sine over cosine, so that means cosine is positive. So that means, for sure, this is the guy we need, quadrant 1. Okay, so secant in this moment we know is positive 5 over 4. Okay, so sometimes you may want to do that at the beginning to decide how uh, you're going to uh, play with the sine. And now we can find sine and cosine very easy. We're going to start with, obviously, with cosine, because cosine is very easy to be found now. Right? Cosine of theta is 1 over secant. Right? Cosine and secant are reciprocal function. This is a reciprocal identity. So in this case, then, cosine will be flip the 5 fourths and you get 4 fifths. And this is a good moment to check. Cosine always needs to be between negative 1 and 1, and it is. How do I find sine? I'm going to use this identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Sine squared plus cosine squared, that is 4 fifths squared, that is 16 over 25 equals 1. We've got to subtract on both sides. 16 over 25, so that will give us 9 over 25. And we're going to take square root. And now, yeah, I said put plus and minus. By this moment, we know the sign is positive. So we're going to have just the positive one, which gives us the final answer. Sine of theta will be 3 over 5. And that's it. We finished the problem. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-Squared for more help. Thank you.